Hey y'all, what's up? I am so excited today. Like, I bring to you guys the sister I've never had. <laughs> and just the friend I never knew existed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm so, I'm so emotional. That's okay. okay, that's okay. Take your time. It's okay. <laughs> Can we start this again? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Hey guys, I'm so excited to present to you guys a good friend of mine. Her name is Milka. Yeah. It sounds beautiful when I it say does. it. Almost like honey. Milka. Ooh. Uh -huh. I never thought about that one. Honey, okay. Exactly. Good. So, <laughs> hi everybody. It's great to be on Crayson's channel, you know. <laughs> I hope everyone's doing okay. But yeah, my name is Milka. I am a student. I'm a university student still doing my undergrad uh -huh. in my, currently my final year. I study international relations and French and it's my first time in florida and i am <laughs> loving it and yeah i don't know if she's loving the heat but she's no loving yeah it. i don't know about the heat the heat is a, bit, a little bit too much for me but, and where yeah. are you coming from oh Tell yeah that's everybody. a good question so i'm coming from london london um, yeah the uk you live next to the queen right like right next i to mean her. not right next to the queen okay. <laughs> Okay. That's a little bit expensive to be right next to the queen. Okay. But um, I can visit her every now and then, so. Okay, cool. That's not too bad. You know, for the longest time, I kept hearing Milka does great makeup. Yeah. I'm like, what? I heard that too. You heard it too, right? I did. Right? Like, that she does great makeup. She doesn't even like on anybody, like any random person. Like, she can like make you look this good in a snap. All right. <laughs> so, is that true? I think we're gonna figure out. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that scares me. <laughs> no, yeah, it's it is totally true. Right? Yeah, okay. So, what's your passion about makeup? Why makeup? Why makeup? Yeah. Um, so, I describe myself as a creative, a little bit artistic kind of person. Mm -hmm. So, anything that my hands can do to like bring color, beauty nice. out of it, I'm very interested in. So, well, I don't draw, that's one thing that okay. I don't do, but I love designing, you know, all nice. these things. So, I feel like makeup is just a way to, another way for me to express that artistic and creative side of me. And I just love like, a really nice face beat, a little bit higher out there, you know, <laughs> like good lipstick and stuff. But yeah, makeup is definitely something that I love. From like early, early on, mm -hmm. maybe 13, 14, I was already interested in makeup. I was very fascinated about, you know, the whole thing about makeup. So I would really just beat my face, like however I knew how to do it then and mm -hmm. would watch so many YouTube videos and just like watch um, people that do makeup and stuff. And eventually I started learning techniques and I started mm -hmm. learning, you know, how to do certain things. And we had the whole um, season where contouring became a I thing. Know, and you know, thing. <laughs> you just kind of had to incorporate that into your exactly. own makeup routine yeah. and stuff. So yeah, technically that's how I kind of started and then started doing people's makeup where they actually pay you to do their makeup Ooh, on wedding days, nice. birthdays and all that. So nice. yeah. is since she's coming over she has got to do mine, mine. Yeah. she's got to pick me up <laughs> wow that didn't sound good <laughs> at all well she's got to she's got to do my makeup yeah you so, gotta give me a face beat you a face that. beat okay yeah. i'm not used to this terminology <laughs> all right so other people would start with their eyebrows first or yeah. their foundation first. This is really not a correct or wrong way of doing it. It's okay. however you prefer. Okay. How do you feel like doing it today? If you had a choice, eyebrows or foundation? <laughs> <laughs> well, I usually do my eyebrows. Okay, first. So, so, eyebrows. Yeah. <laughs> no, actually, we'll go for foundation. Okay. Show you something different. different. No problem. And what you usually do? I never even thought you could do the foundation. You could. You can. Oh, you can. Because okay. it all lies down on the blending. Okay. So yeah. Oh yes. I hope you're not putting it on. No, no, no. <laughs> so I'm actually going to use a foundation brush instead. Mm -hmm. 
beauty marks, mm. which I don't think people should cover at all. <laughs> um, you can show that beauty, people. <laughs> it's getting a smooth. Smooth. Yeah, it's a lot of water, drinking lots of water. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good advice. <laughs> can do a whole lot of good for you. <laughs> I used to have one of those, but... Right. So the secret with eyebrows really is, you want to start at the bottom, and you want to start where your nose is. So you see... Where it ends, or which Well, part? where your... I'll touch it so you can feel it, so... Oh, okay. Where you, the... Well, I don't know what to call it, but... Yeah. <laughs> this area of your nose begins, because that's natural where eyebrows would also begin. Mm -hmm. And some people have many techniques for eyebrows, but... I prefer this one where you go from bottom up because it means you can just blend it in mm -hmm. however you wish afterwards. Okay. And you do not want to fill in the uh, front of your eyebrows. You want them to look very natural so you would just probably just do little lines like this and then blend it in. It's interesting you say that because I always feel like the whole eyebrow needs to look the yeah. same. Like, <laughs> well, look very natural out of front, so just a little. And then the secret is in the blending. Okay, it's all about the blending, ladies. <laughs> Also, I've always find it hard to know how far it needs to go up from the eyes. Right. That's also one thing. Yeah, well, it's all based on preferences, but if you want okay. it to look very natural, you want to really follow your natural eyebrow line. Mm -hmm. So see where the hairs, the eyebrow hairs are, and kind of go from there. I, I usually recommend like a little arc mm -hmm. um, at the top, depending on uh, your natural eyebrow uh, shape mm -hmm. the eyebrows are the most important thing ladies so <laughs> i would spend as much time as i can on it because and you know sometimes even i go out and i just do the eyebrows right i don't even put foundation on or i just do the eyebrows and, and it already makes the difference eyebrows are sisters <laughs> Because naturally speaking, they don't look exactly the same. So, you have to true. struggle. And it's like they don't grow at the same time. <laughs> <sometimes>. <laughs> oh yeah. One side could look like it's going through the pressure. <laughs> <laughs> While the other one looks like it's on vacation in the Bahamas. <laughs> Enjoying life. <laughs> so the top could really be your foundation color. You could literally just... Take a little bit of your foundation and just mm -hmm. follow, you know, your... Interesting. A little bit. What well, are you Don't removing worry. the bags? I know I wear glasses, but really. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> There's no bags to remove. <laughs> um, we're going to blend it in, so I'm just going to look good. Um, I like this part. It's like the part where, like, ladies would put those triangles oh, yeah. on us. Oh, yeah. Looking like Egyptian princesses. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> I got a moustache. There <laughs> so, you go. Um, or like... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Do you want to look up? Yeah. Really look up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you could tell. I definitely don't do that to myself. <laughs> focus on something on the ceiling. Okay. Like, I'm going to focus on the Lord. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> what is that up there? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry. You're holding on to my nose. My, my ear. Your ear. <laughs> it reminds me of when you're a kid and your parent wants to punish you holding on to your ear. I mean, it's not. It's, a, it's really a habit that I have. I don't know if you've heard of bacon. I've heard about that. Okay. Oven and bacon. So this is actually called bacon powder. Ba bacon powder. I, well, it's makeup baking okay. powder. <laughs> it's not kitchen baking powder. Okay. So. Are 
AJ? Uh, I feel like it's like some my eye. I got it. Yeah. Oh, I don't got it. I got it. You don't got it? Yeah. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> okay, so we're going to move straight into um, our eyeshadow. So, eye area. Um, okay. You want to have a base for your eye. So, a neutral color. Obviously, on a dark skin, a brownish, orangey color. Mm -hmm. This is just the base. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, it's uh, oh yeah. This is a moment where you can go to sleep for a bit. <laughs> you want to find out what where your crease is. Mm -hmm. So, like you, your crease is here because your eyeball kind of stops here when you close your eye. Mm -hmm. So that's where your crease is. So that's where I will go in with color. I would avoid going too high up. Um, and another thing is you want to avoid glittery color or shimmery color at the top. You want to kind of focus in this area for shimmery colors okay. and have matte colors at the top. Um, okay, so the base color is a matte color. And how do you tell what makes you because you do people of different skin tones. Yeah. So, that's what I, so it, yeah. it depends on what they want or what you can do with their eyes. Okay. Um, you have to like understand people's eyelids. Some people, when they open their eyes, you can barely see what's in there because they have hooded, mm -hmm. eye, uh, hooded eyes. Mm -hmm. So with them, you want to kind of go above their eyelids so that even when they do open their eyes, this you can still see some sort of color. All right, girls, remember to put the base and put no shimmer at the top, put the mate at the top and then on the side, barbecue your eyes. <laughs> I got this, I got this. I mean, that's a good way of remembering it. Yeah. So I think I'm going to go for a bronze color. Mm -hmm. um, just because you have this really nice chocolate skin tone going on. So Thank you. Um, depending on how bright you want the color to look, you mm -hmm. can add a little bit of concealer. Oh. Yeah, you just add concealer on top before you. I was a little bit scared about makeup because my makeup routine is really easy, um, simple, extremely quick. Right. I, don't, I don't have all the time in the world to sit there. Yeah. Like, so I mean, it takes quite yeah sometimes to. Especially if you want to beat your makeup, you know. So and I think also people who take so much time, I felt as if they put too many layers. Right. And that's the thing I don't really, I'm not really fond of putting right. a lot of layers on. I mean, I've met people that just tell you, okay, you know the amount that you usually put on a normal person? Can you just triple uh -huh. it on me? Yeah. Triple? Yeah, but uh -huh. especially if you're going for like a studio look, mm -hmm. and like a photo shoot and stuff, pick, cam those cameras pick up any uh, and everything uh, okay. so the coverage has to be high level so um it makes sense mm -hmm. but not for a you know a day-to-day -day makeup routine mm And I really feel like it's light. Like, I don't feel like I have yeah, too much. Yeah, time. yeah. I hate having makeup myself. <laughs> so. Yeah. Talking about contour and, like, you know, the new waves every time it comes right. around, how do you keep up with that? <laughs> It's not easy. It definitely isn't easy, but I would say obviously keeping up with like the industry. Uh -huh. So keeping the in the makeup industry, watch um, makeup artists, watch videos, watch you know, listen to what they have to say because there's different techniques every morning you wake up. Like <laughs> there's different objects to use for contouring, especially people do I it know, differently. Yeah. There's creative different ways. Brushes. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so you just want to keep up in exactly. the makeup industry, watching the ones that are doing it well. You know. Uh -huh to kind of just keep up with that, yeah. Okay, I think you've done good for yourself because yeah. people keep coming and they, I mean, they have good reviews. That's a good sign. <laughs> yeah, that's a good sign. And good of sign. course, they're, they're giving you something yeah. coming out of their wallet. So that means you're doing that's your good. thing. <laughs> 
then blend. Yeah. So if you do this, it gives you that perfect cheekbone. But yeah. And then I'm gonna go in and put a blush on, just right above. I don't want to put too much, you just want it to be a little bit rosy mm -hmm. and natural. And does the rosy work for everyone or do you? So you have actually different sh different shades of pink, um, not red but like a like a darker pink, a very deep, a deep darker pink or like mm -hmm. an orangey colour, it all depends on tone. Cause so you have like a very like brown skin, very you know chocolate, dark skin. I went for the deep uh, pink okay. just because it works that way. I didn't know the technical explanations for that, but <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it done that way and it seemed to be working that way, so <laughs> that's um, fine. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Wow, I feel like a different woman. <laughs> wow, like I think one of the things about makeup is it really shows you what you could yeah. really like yeah. Yeah. look like. Exactly. It shows you the extent of your beauty. Yeah. I have to say yeah. because I've never seen myself look like this before. <laughs> right. Ever. I mean, wow, this this is beautiful, and I feel like. I feel like I look older, don't you think? Right, yeah. <laughs> Makeup definitely looks people look older, definitely. Wow, I really like the shine too. Like you said, it really yeah. pops you out. Yeah. Wow, and I noticed the baking, all of that was really all necessary. <laughs> you see, I felt like you were putting a lot of lipstick, but now it doesn't seem like yeah, that at all. Yeah, definitely. Wow, interesting. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It looks great. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. No wonder people choose you, honestly, for <laughs> weddings. Like, oh my god, that's right. This that's is right. like a wedding look. look. Yeah. And I like it. It literally doesn't look like too much. Yeah. It looks like I can go through the whole day mm. with this and it looks fine. Wow. I don't know if I would do this to my face every day. <laughs> I mean, it's I not know. something that I would personally do on my face every day. For the purpose of this, you know, I thought, yeah. you know, we'll go a little bit extra with everything. Okay. But um, it's definitely not an everyday look, I would say, depending on people's preferences. Um, but this is more of like a party look, you know, an occasion, you know, special occasion look. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it just like you said, it just gives you the option to see the extent of your beauty. And, yeah, I really, I'm, I'm really shocked. I didn't know all of this was happening. <laughs> it looks great. Thank you so much. That's okay. And voila, there is the face. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. her product, people. Okay. Yeah. Trust me when I said that. I see why people definitely ask her to do the makeup. I, I, I'm not joking. This is beautiful. I, right. I don't think I've ever seen myself like this right. ever so yeah. what, what was the, the difficult part for you the, the difficult part of yeah. your face do you know what you're probably one of the among the easiest faces i've had to do your okay. eyebrow shape is perfect not too much work in that your eyelids are like ideal like really? people would kill for this like it's a bit of it's not hooded it's not too uh, they're not too wide so we just have the right you know Okay. amount of <laughs> eyelids going on and your eyelashes I'm obsessed with them because they oh, just yeah okay. they really just bring out you know even your eye color and stuff so yeah okay. I mean your lips really easy to work with not too small not way too big which is nothing bad but you know just the right amount because I know some friends that you know have a significant amount of lips and their lip gloss my lip gloss can last me a good month but mm -hmm. they will probably last them less so yeah um just the right amount and yeah everything is everything's looking perfect. good i think a lot of the things that i wouldn't understand a lot of things that you're saying because i'm not used to it right. like the yeah. whole crease thing i i really have not idea <laughs> no idea of all of that yeah. but 
overall it was just a great product yeah. definitely you guys i don't know where can they find you where can they find you yeah so I'm on instagram okay and um, for so my makeup services i'm on instagram okay so definitely guys make sure that you follow her yeah and thank you for watching and let us know what are some of the ways that you put on makeup that are different or some of the maybe you have a request for her so put that down on the yeah. request on the comment section or also um go ahead and connect with her Thank you so much guys for watching yeah. and like I always say, I always tell them, right. remember, you are the best. Oh cool. You want to tell them that too? You are the best. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, bye guys. Bye. <laughs>